Welcome back, folks, to more Pool of Radiance. We're here back in Flan, and we want our fucking reward. The council clerk begins looking through a stack of papers. The clerk speaks. You have cleared the area next to the evil temple. Here's your reward. All right. 249 experience. What a bunch of bullshit. And 147 gold we can't even take, because that's just... How over encumbered we are. Nope. You may keep all you found in the Temple of Bane as reward. The clerk shuffles through her papers on the matter of commission. I can offer the following. All right, the Koval Mansion. Yes, we've heard of them. And the Nomads. And the large tribe of Kobolds. Yes, we know. All right. So hopefully we have. I'm hoping I have enough experience to get my mages up here. Shut up. Still not enough for my mages. Shit. What do I need here? 21. I think I need 22,000 to get them up. Just a little bit shy. Oh god, here comes this pendejo. Try no me thieves, yeah. Let's see, forty one I don't even know what your max is. You don't have enough to train either. Alrighty then, let's start another quest then. Alright, so we've made our way over to the Cobell Mansion. After resting, healing, selling as much stuff as possible. You can trade in the mass amounts of gold and platinum that you get for jewels. However, you only get half price when you sell it back, so. Unfortunately, you can really only carry so much. So it's better to do that than to not to be able to carry anything, which I ran into while I was playing, simply because my characters could not carry anything else. I'll bash my way in here, bitch. What up, son? As you enter the room, a thief with a sword comes out of nowhere. He tries to attack the party, but you stop him. What will you do? Kick his ass. I ain't dealing with that. I did remember to actually get a few darts here. Not enough, probably. Uh, I need to level my mages. Alright, getting backstabbed, that's awesome. Especially when it's my weak ass mage. Your potty detects a trap. What do you want to do? Disarm it. A scything blade drops across the doorway, damaging one of the characters. Oh! Good job, Fidget. Way to way to disarm the trap, you fucking turd burglar. Inside this room, you find a large pile of weapons and shields. They appear to be in good condition and fine quality. As you near the pile of weapons, an awful smelling cloud of gas forms. This foul smelling gas stuns the party, allowing a group of thieves to jump out of the shadows and attack.
First level thieves should not be very strong. Try to send people that aren't complete pussies next time. Alright, I went ahead and reloaded because I should have took the treasure. This time when I searched, the thieves didn't attack. Instead I got the 600 experience. And we're going to take all this stuff here because it's magical. We can sell it for gold. As you enter the room, two thieves come out of nowhere and attack the party. They fail miserably and run out of the store. Will you give them chase? No. Don't chase the thieves, they just lead you into a damn ambush. We're attacking all thieves that try to backstab me. Oh, what the hell did you just do? I didn't even realize Ron Stock had some throwing hammers. Let him go, fuck it. On the floor is a crude map. It is a map of a complex maze. With your words, any castle under it. You take the map and put it in your journal under the entry 29. Here's a map of journal entry 29. It's a clean map drawn with exact lines. We'll get into that more later. In front of you is a wooden cabinet. What will you do? I can examine that shit. As you attempt to disarm the trap, it goes off in your face. A cloud of poisonous yellow gas fills the room. You pick the lock. You find a wide variety of scrolls and 666 experience, which is always nice. Alright, and some scale armor that no one can manage to pick up. Finding all kinds of goodies. As you enter the room, you are ambushed by some pussy thieves. 20 level 1 thieves. I'm just gonna go quick on them, because honestly, a bunch of level 1 thieves aren't gonna be able to do shit. This is quite the sausage fest, I might add. It'd be a great time to have fireball, unfortunately I don't have it. How the hell are you gonna miss? Oh, 
why my dudes ain't throwing darts. Thieves only have four hit points. As long as you hit, they're pretty much going down. Just from strength, strength bonus alone will kill them. That's something you don't want to happen. How that one took five hit points, I'm not sure. There's a bunch of naked fucking men attacking me. It's kind of gay. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa. That guy's got all kinds of hit points. That must be the thief leader. We need to break it up a little bit. Um, let's see. Move. Attack that son of a bitch. She's a level six. couple of level 60s around here. Trying to be fucking funny. Got one of them. That's all I give a shit about. He better flee in panic. Shit's about to get wicked. That is just banging morale up. bows. I don't know why they don't just switch to long range. It seems like Fidget's the only one that ever does. Stock's about to get up in them guts. Nothing worth taking there, by the way. However, make sure you do search in the room. On the floor here, you find some important looking files. You stuff the files into your journal under entries 38 and 51. Let's check those out. Journal 38 says several pieces of paper with highly organized writing. Fact. Werner von Slingen is a retired mercenary captain turned businessman. Strong rumor. Mostly interested in military aspects of the rig reconquest of Flan. Rumor fought in a mercenary unit hired by the boss early in his career. Rumor hates Zentarum because he fought in the unit against them several times. Rumor 
Has strong contacts with other mercenaries and some ruffians in town. None of the informants confirmed such contact. Vague rumor, Von Schlegen's unit was wiped out by the enemy magic users. He was only a survivor. He retired and now secretly hates magic users. And entry 51. Several pieces of paper with highly organized writing. Fact, Bishop Abraxio is the highest ranked religious leader in Flan. Runs small temple and civilized section. Abraxio is actually a front man for a powerful high priest who never leaves the small temple. Prasio is also under fire to do something about the undead problem. So long as the undead were causing the monsters more trouble than the settlers, he had other more pressing problems. Rumor. Prasio is opposed to the temple tendency to sell clerical miracles, but he understands that the temple needs funds. Prasio would rather perform such miracles in exchange for good works done in the name of the church, not just for money or items of power. So we got a slew of uh, rumors and shit. To say the least. Let's go ahead and continue here. Well, let's save first. In case I meet my maker. I'm trying to get through this whole uh, portion without resting. Oh, this cock bastard. We'll let him go because I'm just tired of attacking him. These guys jump out of trees like monkeys. See? Here he comes. Man, you damn little thief. I'm Sir Shank a lot. You enter a room that has been converted to a jail. There are ten young thugs beating the shit out of an older thief. A battle begins. All right, I believe we have a bunch of... I'm just going to check it out here. First level thieves again. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to go quick on it. Because I'm not going to deal with level 1 thieves and strategizing. It's kind of pointless. They're going to die a miserable death. Let's put it that way. And by miserable, I mean it's going to fucking suck for them. It's going to be a lot of skulls and crossbones. <laughs> Good night, sweetheart. That leather armor just stands out. You rush to help the old thief, but it's too late. Before he dies, he says, The boss has allies everywhere. Take these papers. They may help. He then dies. You copy the papers into your journal under the journal entry 48. All right, let me dig up journal entry 48 then. Jeez. All right, 48, 48. Several pieces of paper with highly organized writing. The boss is a dragon, or is a human who can take the form of a dragon. The boss is a metallic dragon, not considered likely as metallic dragons are good. The boss holds audiences in Valleggeveo Castle. Castle is guarded by gruesome, big, stupid monsters with occasional smart human leaders. The boss doesn't spend full time at Valgevo Castle. Fact. Maze inside castle wall, passwords are needed to get past gates. The boss has been sending out messengers to tribes of monsters in the area to recruit new units. The boss is recruiting new units in preparation for an assault to retake the civilized sections of Flan. The boss can lick my nuts. 
Oh wait, that's not in there. Your party detects a trap. What do you want to do? You want to disarm it. And new. We don't disarm shit. Party is various loot. There is a wide variety of knickknacks from tarnished bronze candlesticks and other thingy majiggies. Party hears the cracking of glass. A poisonous gas fills the air. I'm just gonna sit here and suck it in because I like it. I like poisonous gas. Poisonous gas fill my soul. In front of you are three cabinets. I'm gonna examine A. It's locked. How will you open it? Well, I'll pick it, of course. Fidget is a master pick locker. All right, General until 23 and 14. Let's check them out. A lot of journal entry. Shit's going on here. 23 and 14. Let's go with 23 first as I'm closer to that. All right. Ulrich Ibn Hard is old, hard-headed in every sense of the word, leader of the initial expedition to retake Flan. Unfaithful to his wife, but she knows, though he doesn't know she knows. Hates monsters with passion, would kill every last one before surrendering. Angry attitude is a cover. He is actually paid by the boss. Opposes rise of Porpheus Cadorna as a young upstart who doesn't respect his elders. All right, and uh, the other one uh, was 14. Basically a bunch of rumors going around. What you choose to believe and what you actually believe, and yada yada, is up to you. Porphyrius Cadorna is the last known surviving member of the Cadorna clan. Rising star in the city politics and on the city council. Very charming, has many admirers, but no known mate. Vindictive, likes to get his own way and remembers when he is double-crossed. Contacted the thieves to have his gain information on the pool of radiance. Has hired a number of mercenaries through the thieves. We received a normal cut. Is using mercenaries to find pool of radiance. So Cadorna's in on this whole pool of radiance heist it looks like I'll go ahead and open P break it with one mighty swing you smash open the lock making enough noise to wake a ogre's ass You deactivate the trap. It's locked. How will you open it? Well, I'll try to pick it with my thief. I mean, that's the whole point of having a thief, right? Oh, it's too complex. We're going to have to bash it open. Alright, so we find some gold. We're done there with those. It's another trap. Let's avoid it. You see a wide collection of rugs and tapestries. Two of them look extraordinary. 
while the others look kind of shitty. You're going to probably be too overloaded. They're just too damn heavy, I guess. You already fucking asked me that. Trade to and Purdue. Very entries. Very interesting how it'll let me trade fifty at a time. Very, very interesting. Boom. Got the two fine tapestries. So I think that's pretty much it for this area here. back to town. I'm gonna fucking level. Another one of these dickheads. After the party into the room and net lace of star blades falls on the party. Custom the little fucking threads. Get it. More gold and gems and jewelry than I can shake a stick at. So far, Fidget's doing pretty good on his die roll. He's deactivating, he's picking locks, he's getting treasure. I'm of course saving after every one. We're going to search casket C now. And last but not least, Surge Casket D. So far, Fidget is 3 for 3 on disarming traps, which is really the main thing. Uh, we got hit for a little bit of hit points there, not a big deal. And we're going to.
gonna have to bash it open. Lug lug style. And with that note, I've cleared out uh, Koval Mansion. We're gonna head back to town for our reward and level up our mages, memorize some spells, and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Pool of Radiance.